everyone, Roxy again. Um, I'm here on Sunday, obviously. I have my Sunday hair. My Sunday hair is amazing. Mostly just whatever. A little dry shampoo and a little flat iron and nothing worked today. So, oh well. You do what you do. You just put it in a ponytail. Uh, anyway, I am here today to talk about a few of my favorite items that I use on a daily basis. Things that I have found uh, over time and some of them are newer products. A couple of them have been around for a few years and I think they are phenomenal. And a lot of times with newer products, it takes a while to get used to, so you kind of still use your favorite from before and then you start using the new one, you're like, okay, okay, and then you kind of mix the two and you kind of gradually just find your way into your new favorite. And for starters, my new favorite is this right here. It is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. The wand on it is phenomenal. It grips your lashes like crazy. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of got a curve to the wand. Dishes down and back up. And I think that is what helps really wrap your lashes and kind of pull them up and flare them out. So I'm actually not wearing this one today. I'm wearing my old favorite, which is the uh, Lancome Hypnostrama. Right there. Uh, but back to the Too Faced. I got a sample of this in a favorite stash from Sephora. It was a five pack for $25 and it came with a coupon to actually pick your favorite. And it was funny because when I bought it, I actually bought it because they did have the Hypnostrama mascara in it that I was already wearing at the time. And I said, oh, well, if I don't like any of these, then I'll just get the Hypnostrama. Well, it had a Tarte one in it, it had a Bare Minerals, this uh, Too Faced one, and a couple others maybe that weren't very memorable besides the Hypnos Drama. There was one that I just honestly, I chucked that thing right away, it was crap. Uh, Blink, the Blink Tube Your Lashes Mascara. It's freaky when you use it because it literally does wrap little coatings around your lashes so when you take them off you think you're losing lashes when you go wash your face it's really freaky and I didn't like the feeling it felt like it was really pulling at my eyes even during the day after it had dried it just felt um felt like they were shellacked with paint and I don't know about you but that's not a good feeling for me so I uh went ahead and got the hypnos drama before I really actually tried to work with the Too Faced because I was like, oh, well, it's okay. But apparently the formula, when you first get it, it's a little wet and that's what I wasn't liking. After it had been opened a few times, it got to the perfect consistency and I was so mad that I wound up getting this guy right here instead of the full size version of this guy. Now granted in the kit, this actually turns out to be the more expensive mascara because it's $27.50 at Sephora, whereas the, um, Too Faced is 23 so you do get a better bargain with this one, and I do like this. This is, uh, like I said, the Lancome Hypnostrama. It has this really wonky brush. One side of it's flat, the other side's curved. It kind of has like a, a slight S shape. I don't know if you can see that. I'm working with my iPad, so you work with the tools you've got. But uh, this one really gets in there. The only problem I have with the Hypnostrama is if you get too far to the corners here, you kind of get the bottom lashes, and if you don't want to do your bottom lashes that day, this probably isn't the best one to use because it does take a lot of effort not to like bump it alongside the bottom of your lash line. Um, but this is another favorite of mine. It has been for a while now. I would repurchase this, uh, but I think next actual full-size purchase is going to be the Too Faced Better Than Sex because... Like I said, open for a couple days, the formula kind of thickens up a little bit, and it, you it, you work with it beautifully. It's phenomenal. Okay, so on to my next favorite, and it has been a favorite of mine for, I want to say, maybe two years now. Uh, it took me a while to find liquid liner that I actually liked because a lot of liquid liner has it on that little stick, and there's a brush at the end, and I can't work with that. I look like a hot mess. It's just all up here and I bump everything and I it's not a good look and I ruin the rest of my makeup because 
I have to go in and clean all the little spots that I got here because don't ask me how I can wind up getting liquid liner right here, but I do. Go figure. It's because I'm a mess. Um, so I found this one. This is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. It is not that waterproof. I will tell you that right now. It's relatively waterproof. It works pretty well. Uh, it does take a little effort to come off, but it's not like most waterproof mascaras where you really got to get some oil on there and scrub it off. Uh, so if you're looking for a good waterproof liner, this wouldn't necessarily be the one. It depends on how much moisture you're looking to, um, I don't know, encounter throughout that day. Obviously, if you're going swimming, no. If you live in a humid climate, yeah, probably this would work okay. I, uh, sorry, it is really hot today in Los Angeles. Again, for the fourth day in a row, we're on a heat wave, and it's, uh, October 5th? The 5th. And it is 80-something degrees out there. I live close, uh, to the beach, so don't have AC here. Apparently you don't need it. And I haven't needed it for the past nine years that I've lived here, but... Uh, last summer it was unbearable for a lot longer than it had been, and this summer it has been unbearable for even longer than last year. So, I think climate change quite possibly real, because it is a scorcher here today, and I am sweating my makeup off, which, granted it's Sunday, I'm already done with all my errands today, so this is going to get washed off soon enough anyway. But, um, anyway back to what I was talking about before I went off on a rant, but, you know, that's why I put the warning up on this channel saying there's random ramblings of the Southern California girl, because I just go off on a tangent, and I don't know, maybe you guys like that. I do. I love it when I'm watching videos, and they're, like, talking about personal stuff, and they really get into everything involved, and just have a good time. That's why I made this channel, so I could, you know, have a good time and be my true self that um, I am every day when I don't have to deal with most people. Uh, so the Stila, <laughs> back back on the tangent, uh, the Stila liner is a fantastic felt tip pen. It's a little stiff when you first get it. It takes a little bit of uh, use, a couple uses, and it starts to get very flexible, very pliable. Let's see if you could see this, uh, if I can get my finger on it. So it's great color payoff and don't mind the fact that I torched myself right there but the color payoff is phenomenal it is a true black it is a very inky black and see that's not waterproof and that was already dry so and it does dry quickly which is a benefit because when you're putting on eyeliner you've already finished probably your eyeshadow and everything else and you do not want to open your eyes and have that stupid line right here so it does dry very quickly it works well this pen that I have it lasts about two to three months depending on usage it's phenomenal for making a cat eye uh, today I just went really close to the lash line and didn't flare out the ends at all because again it's Sunday and I'm a mess and it's hot and I could care less I just want to slap a little makeup on my face and get out for the day because I try not to go anywhere without any makeup on my face because otherwise it scares people and children cry and it's just not good I have a uh, very um, splotchy skin and I'm trying to work on that. I've got some products that I've been trying and a couple of them seem to be working okay. We'll, we'll review those in later uh, later dates. Uh, but no, the seal liner is actually phenomenal. I've been using it, like I said, for over a year and just ignore the waterproof part because it's not all that waterproof. Last but not least is actually not a face item although you probably could use it on your face. I don't know what you do in your spare time. It is the Bumble and Bumble BB Hairdressers Invisible Oil. I have the little one here. This is actually my second little one because every time I go buy the big size, they don't have it. But at Sephora, they have those little tubs of the miniatures and the travel sizes. And, you know, they really entice you at the register. It's like the impulse buy, thinking you're getting a really good deal. You're probably not saving all that much money. But it is actually good if you want to try something. So... I picked this up two months ago. This, like I said, this is my second one, and it is amazing. I do two pumps in my hand, run it through my fingers, run it through my hair when it's damp, and then when I blow dry my hair, it doesn't get as 
puffy and frizzy. And then when I'm done flat ironing my hair, because, yeah, I have wavy hair and it's gross, I take one pump of it, run it through my hands again, and then just smooth out all the little flyaways, floofies, and it gets so shiny and so gorgeous, and you can run your hands through it and it feels so soft. Like, this is amazing. And it does not make your hair greasy. It doesn't make your hair, I don't know, like, stick together, like that greasy stick together is that you can get from, um, what's that one that I was using? Uh, it's like a Fruitopia brand. It was a hair shine oil, and I just had patches of, you know, like, shiny dreadlocks. They were disgusting. This stuff goes in really well, and it actually, when you're blow drying your hair, if you use a flat brush like I do, it goes through your hair so easy. You don't get snags, you don't get tangles, it doesn't wreck your hair. So it actually makes combing it or brushing it out a lot easier, which... I'm all for because my hair is super, super long and that's why it's kind of up today because it's so hot today. But um, this stuff, phenomenal. Like right now, I could just take half of a pump, smooth it right here, not greasy, and it just took down a bunch of the flyaways that I had. And it's amazing. And I just rub the rest on my skin because it is just really silky. And it absorbs like that, so which obviously hair, skin, kind of similar in some aspects. So you could just rub the rest into your skin. If you put too much on your hands, just kind of rub it on your arms like I do and go, oh, okay. Well, and then I have soft arms. So I actually really enjoy that product. I am going to buy the full size of this as soon as I can get there when they actually have it. So definitely something to check out if you are a blow, uh, da, 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 English, blow dryer. Is that a word? This word now. If you blow dry your hair, if you flat iron your hair, I would strongly suggest getting this. Even if you wear your hair natural when you get out of the shower, just rub some of this in when it's towel dried and it will just help all the little wispies of your hair just kind of go where they belong instead of sticking out like you have hair halos all over your head. So definitely some products to check out. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you did or if you want as well. You may subscribe. That would be lovely. I would love to have uh, people who really enjoy this kind of thing around to watch, you know, this is what I'm going to be doing now. I wanted to make more videos this week and I apologize. It's just been so gross here, so hot, and I forced myself to do this today because I promised you guys lots of videos to start out with and I hadn't done any in like a week because by the time I got home I was tired, I was hot, my makeup was all melted off my face. And I just look like a hot mess. So instead of showing you my worst side right away, I figured I'd show you the gradual demise of my face. Like most of my makeup's just coming off and I gotta go find my blotting sheets at least to keep my face nice for a little bit. Uh, but yeah, thank you again so much for watching and comment down below if there's any products you think I might like based on what you see here go ahead and let me know if you've tried any of these what you think of them um, and I would love to know what your oh shoot there went there there it went <laughs> there went my iPad so I guess that's my cue to exit and I'm camera lenses over here uh, have a lovely Sunday and I will hope to make more videos this week for you guys I am really sorry that I've been away and I'm shaking this thing to death so Again, bye guys. Thank you so much.